Hi guys, welcome back to the Budget Guitar Show. Now, some of you out there may know that my first ever proper guitar that I ever owned was an Encore guitar, or Encore guitar, depending on however you wish to pronounce it. Now, these guitars at the time were made by John Hornby Skews, an importer company in Leeds in the UK. Now, they also currently own the vintage brand of guitars, and I believe they've also bought back the Encore name and uh, are now re releasing guitars under that brand. But the particular guitar that I had now. This one is going back to the 1990s and um, at the time I had another Encore guitar which was a one pickup black Strat shaped guitar and I never considered this um, a proper guitar because it just looked and felt as cheap as they come. It was awful to play and the one humbucker pickup in it was awful. Um, I think they were made out of plywood. It was terrible anyway. So I never considered that to be a proper guitar. That was purchased for about £89 from a store over here called Argos. Um, and uh, these Encore guitars were really sort of brought out to sort of replace the K range of guitars, which were back in the 70s and 80s, being sold in Woolworths and uh, I believe also in Argos in the early 80s. So these were very, very cheap. But one particular day, uh, I walked into the guitar store in Millsborough House in Redditch. And uh, it's, it's no, the store is no longer there now, but the building still is. Um, and there was a certain guitar hung up on the wall. It was an encore. It was a strat shaped. It had two single coil and one humbucker pickups. And it had this lovely design of a devil with a pitchfork on it. Now, I asked how much this was, and the people there said they would let me have it for £60. Now, at the time, I didn't have £60, I was only a child. So, Quickly running home, I asked my mother and father if I could have this guitar. Uh, after a couple of days, they decided I could have it for or as part of my Christmas present that year. So, with my mother, I trundled all the way back up to the shop and bought that guitar. I played it for a while. I even used it in the first band that I was ever in. Um, and when sort of other guitars came along, it got pushed by the wayside and it didn't get used. Now, I can't quite remember what happened to it. I must have sold it very, very cheaply to someone or to some secondhand store. Um, I really, really can't remember. That period of my life when I would have sold it is a bit of a blur. But for years... I'd never seen another one of those guitars, but I always remembered how it looked. Now, I put out in the community post about this guitar, saying that uh, I'd seen one for sale for £200. Um, the guitar is no nowhere near worth that much, um, and I never pursued that. But a couple of weeks ago, I saw on eBay, somebody was selling one for £18. British pounds. Now they were quite far away from me down in Devon and um, I asked them if they would consider if I won the guitar if I could get a courier for it and have it shipped to me and they said no. So my dreams of having that guitar were well and truly over. Well Dan O'Sullivan from Scott Guitars, uh, he got in contact with me and said, where is this uh, sale, Johnny? So I sent him the link and uh, showed it to him. And uh, to cut a long story short, he won the guitar and had it shipped to me. And uh, I am so, so grateful to Dan from Scott Guitars UK because now...
I have a copy of the very first guitar I ever owned back with me. Now, this came today. I've had a look at it. It is pretty beat up. There's a few things that need to be done. And this guitar, I am going to do those things that need to be done to get this to be an absolutely great functioning machine. But first off, we'll take a little look at it. So first off, you can see the headstock. And uh, if we look at the tuners there, there is a little uh, washer missing. Very, very dusty. As we swing round, there's the Encore logo. There's something up with this nut here. It just is not particularly level, which is why when I hit the top E string, it uh, doesn't really ring out. As we come down the fretboard, this all looks okay. Uh, the frets are fine. They need a bit of a clean. And now as we come down to the body, we can see a few little chips and dinks here and there. And a few little dinks over there. The bridge needs uh, sorting out. There's the covered humbucker and the two single coils. There's a dink up there as well. And now we come to the back of the guitar. A few little dinks. And as you can see, it's a bolt-on neck. And as we swing up to the back of the headstock, there you can see the tuners, like so. Now, of course, for a guitar which uh, is in this condition, and uh, it was only uh, one in the auction for £18, you're going to be thinking, I bet it doesn't work. So I've plugged in the NUX Mighty Plug and uh, let's see how this sounds as it is before I do anything to it. <laughs> So what I'm going to do with the guitar first off is to take it apart, uh, give it all a good clean. Um, then I have a Harley Benton neck, which I'm going to take some of the washes off and uh, stick it on where the guitar needs a washer. And then I'm going to restring it and uh, whack in some contact cleaner just to uh, see if I can get all of those pickups working properly again. So, let's get down to it. Okay, so I have the neck off now. And uh, if you look right in there, let me get the best 
angle, you can see that this guitar is actually made out of plywood. Two hours later. <laughs> Okay guys, so what I've actually done to this is I've altered the bridge, I've uh, put a shim in the neck here, and I put a little shim in the nut just here, um, basically just to make it playable, and a bit of contact cleaner down in the five-way switch. And now all of that is working fine. Um, it does need a complete and total setup. Um, what I've done so far to this is purely just so I could get it going for you to see in this video. I will be, however, replacing the nut and having a proper setup done and the neck looked at properly. Um, and I'm going to get this as a working, playable, really good sounding guitar. But, there you go, it works, it does the job at the moment, and I'm rather happy with it. And I must admit, it sounds a hell of a lot better now than I remembered these sounding. And I just want to say one final big, big thank you to Dan O'Sullivan at Scott Guitars UK fantastic guitar builder extraordinaire um, this really has brought back memories of my late parents and uh, sitting alone in my bedroom for hours on end playing along with Nevermind the Bollocks and Thin Lizzy and uh, Deep Purple Status Quo all those kind of things so it's brought back many many happy memories don't forget, if you want to become a budget backer, you can click that join button down below and join these names right here. And if you want to watch another one of my videos, there's one up here which YouTube thinks you might like. So, it just remains for me to say, stay safe, stay sane, and keep rocking. <laughs>